Ron DeSantis has announced that he's going to run for president. Well, try for the Republican presidential nomination. Now, there's so much I can say about this guy, especially considering his war that he's waging against Disney that's almost destroying his state a econ state's economy. The fact that he's trying to ban every single book that even mentions an historical black figure. We just received word that he's banned the um the poem that was read during the inauguration of Joe of Joe Biden for Lord knows what reason because they say it's divisive. So Ron DeSantis has announced, finally announced. And I think it's a gigantic joke. Not because I don't like the man. Lord knows I don't like him at all. He's a scumbag. But because, honestly, you really think you're going to be able to pull Trump down? The cult of Trump wants him back as president. Hell, they want to deify him as God. You really think you're going to be able to compete with someone like that? But anyway, I found this... Um, God, I really need to leave this guy alone. I really do. But Nick Nick Adams, the reason I go after this guy, he makes it so easy. He makes it so easy for him to make fun of him or joke about him or to cut him to pieces. On every single post he's made, he, he makes it so easy. What I'm about to read to you is a Facebook post that he made... Um, not too long before the rumors and before it was confirmed on Twitter that DeSantis announced. I'm going to cut this guy down to shreds in this. I'm going to have fun doing it. Here's what he said. I want to get in front of this. What I'm about to say will likely upset many of my fellow Florida residents and patriots. I feel it necessary to say. I proudly voted for the first time in 2022, and I cast that ballot for Ron DeSantis as governor. Tonight, Governor DeSantis is, plan is going to announce he plans to run for president. Yes, I'm a Trump guy, and I always have been, from the very beginning. But I'm trying hard not to let this color what I'm about to say. I think Governor's decision to enter the race is a grave error and is going to lead to an unnecessary bloodbath in the conservative world. While Governor DeSantis has been a good governor, it is my opinion, based on my interactions, experiences, and observations, that he does not have what it takes to be President of the United States. I find him socially awkward, tedious, unlikable, tetranic, and an invert in an exervert's business. I don't see any stardust. Generally, I find him low wattage. Outside of Florida, I have never heard anyone leave a room after hearing him, him thinking, this man's going places. DeSantis supporters are primarily those that always support Trump brilliantly and have now found someone they more naturally support. On a stage, Trump is going to make DeSantis look very small, and that's not good for anyone, and that's not good for the conservative cause. You can't get Trump policies without Trump. This is intellectual laziness. Trump is a good manager and may have a good, a bright future, but this is simply not the time. Again, my opinion. If there is a miracle that unfolds, I will happily vote for him in the general election. Where the country is at, we need someone that is a lion. Someone that transcends politics. Someone that the other side is constantly trying to eliminate. To my mind, the only person who can rescue America is Donald Trump. Donald Trump is electable in 2024. 
as he was in 2016. And he's done it once, and I believe he can do it again. And the Democrats do, too. The Democrats are terrified that they can't replicate the unique conditions of 2020. The mail-in ballots, the Zuckerbergs, the, the COVID atmosphere. And that's why they're desperately trying to remove him off the chessboard with all these legal indictments. Everyone should remember that Joe Biden and his socialism are the enemy. God bless America. We need it. Normally, I don't really... I try to show mercy to Donald Trump supporters because they show nothing but stupidity, and it's not their fault. But this... Oh, God. He makes a few good points in his post here, but... And, um, like I said, he makes good points here, but... This is just so wrong in so many ways. It is just so wrong. DeSantis may not even survive a debate with Don- against Donald Trump. And that may be true. Donald Trump knows exactly what buttons to push on everyone around him. Although, though he couldn't push the buttons against Joe Biden who told him to shut up on live television during one of his debates. But to say that the arrogance of this man, the arrogance of Nick Adams, saying that Donald Trump is the only person, the only person that can rescue America, shows how far he has fallen as a person, as an American, well, as an American citizen. See, he's from Australia, but I, I don't give a crap, whatever. But the last paragraph that really, that really irks me is the fact that he says that the Democrats know that, that he, can, he can win again in, 20, in 2024. And that's why the investigations are going against him. The indictments are all going against him. The investigations are going against him. He's about to be indicted by the DOJ because the evidence supports it. He's a criminal, and the evidence shows he's a criminal. And the idea of that we can't duplicate the unique conditions, like the mail-in ballots and the Zuckerberg, the Zuckerberg as he says it, Zuckerberg as in Zuckerberg. And the third part that angers me, the COVID atmosphere. The COVID atmosphere. Adams, I'm going to make this clear to you. You're a scumbag. Oh, I've already said that. You're an asshole. I think I've said that before, too. The COVID atmosphere. My father was one of the first patients to get COVID in our state. I myself got it. I mean, had it. Let me put it that way. Had it. Not about months ago. I lost a family friend to COVID. I worried every single day that my grandparents who were older could get it. I worried every day I was going to get a phone call from my mother saying I have COVID. Unique atmosphere. The COVID atmosphere. Unique conditions. Donald Trump lost in 2020 because he was a terrible president and everyone in this country saw that. And for you to make fun of the of people, the, the COVID atmosphere. Mm. Let's just say that I want to say something that would do to you, but I'm not going to get, I don't want to get um, arrested for that, mind you. See, he's under investigation because he's a criminal. And now everything he has said and done is coming back to him. You see, I've been called a lot of things because I, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. I've been called evil. 
I've been accused of being a terrorist. I've been accused of being a baby rapist. Every single one of those accusations and those lies came from Donald Trump and his supporters. And it never ends with people like Nick Adams saying that we're evil because we don't support Trump. Now, don't, now my, don't make any mistake. I am not voting for Ron DeSantis. The man's a pig, a racist, bigoted, non-thinking, and frankly, considering what he's doing with Disney, a suicidal pig. So I'm going to make this very clear for you, Nikki. I hope Ron DeSantis does get the um, nomination. Because Donald Trump, being the egotist that he is, is going to run as an independent and is going to split the Republican Party and the MAGA down the middle. Split them down. Now, I'm not saying Joe Biden's victory, if he decides to run in 2024, will be easy one or someone else. But quite honestly, it's exactly what the Republican Party deserves after the crap they are pulling now and years ago. So your opinion, though it wasn't sought, is duly noted and summarily dismissed, you fat piece of alpha male, whatever the crap that means, alpha male crap. Ron DeSantis is not going to be the president of the United States. And neither is Donald Trump. CTP, know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.